Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about third grade books. Um, I have a love of books. Um, I'm just gonna hold up my little aloha pillow because I aloha books. And um, these are my favorite third grade books that my third grader reads alone. <laughs> I have a separate video on best books for middle graders and almost every book in that category, which I'll link the video up here. But all those books I would still recommend that you read out loud to your third grader, like they're totally at a level where she could understand or he could understand the books. But the books I'm sharing with you today are my third graders' favorites to read on her own, in her own spare time, and she likes to read. I'm gonna start with the science books because those are the ones I think have a lot of great information. If you have a child that likes facts and maybe doesn't like um, big long stories, the science books we have are really awesome for fact lovers. Then I'm going to share her favorite chapter books that were a series that she reads to herself at night. And then I'm going to share the best um, story time books, her favorites that she just picks up and reads from the bookshelf all the time. And um, she loves all of them, but they're kind of different. She kind of loves them in different ways. So stick around so you can see all the books I recommend for your third grader. Okay, so some awesome books for your third grader if they like facts and if they're maybe a science lover. This Usborne Mysteries of Marvels and Nature book. So fun, so many facts. Um, lots of great pictures too. All of my kids love this, but school doesn't really feel like school when it's this much fun. And my daughter loves going through this book. She gets her science out all the time. Probably way ahead in science at this point because that's her favorite thing to do when it comes to school. That and reading. Another favorite is the Osborne Book of Knowledge. Now, I believe this is a second grade book, but we we pulled it out and um, have it out just for fun. So much great information in these books, and you can see like what is blood, what is the color of blood. This is not at a super high reading level, so your third grader can pull it out, read it, and understand it. Just you know, your bloodstream flows around your body like a river. Like that's so it's it's clear, it's concise, and it's teaching them science, and it's super fun at the same time. So definitely recommend this one. And then we've got science activities. Now, if you do not have, this is the Osborne book of science activities. If you don't have this book, I highly recommend it. Um, and if you like science videos, be sure to watch my upcoming video on my science experiments I'm doing with my seventh grader. Now, if you like science videos, be sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. I'm gonna be doing a whole series on science experiments with my seventh grader, third grader, first grader, and kindergartner. Let me know in the comments below. Also, be sure to share with me if science is one of those, um, you know, maybe those school subjects that doesn't always make it to the top of the priority list. Uh, science can be so much fun, so be sure to stick around so you can um, see my next science video. And the other book that I think is really awesome for third graders is The Seas and Oceans, the Osborne, the first encyclopedia of Seas and Oceans. Now, I have a particular love for it because um, we lived in Hawaii and I got to see a lot of these sea creatures in real life and got to see them in their natural environment. It was really meaningful for me and for my kids. So we really enjoy the books about the seas, the oceans, because of that. Um, but it's really good for all the kids, I think, to get to experience this. And you can learn so much. So it's a really fun read. Again, not too difficult. The third grader could read it on their own and understand it. So I definitely recommend this one too. So the next recommendation I have is the books that my daughter likes to read throughout the day or in the evenings when she's reading uh, her chapter books that she just reads for fun. The first one is this Billy B. Brown um, mystery books. Now she read the first part of the series which we um, gave to a close friend and um, so she read the first series and then she wanted the second series because she loved it so much and she has the coloring book and she just she really enjoys Billy B. Brown mysteries. It's not too difficult and um, I think that there is a it's almost like a a sister book or a brother book in this case because I think it's um there's like a boys book for us from us born like Jack and Jack and Billy are best friends so there's a series for Jack and a series for Billy anyway she really loves these so I definitely recommend them 
Another series we really enjoy is the Tanglewood Park series. Now, this one I did read out loud to her, but they were really fun and she can read them on her own now. So she has them in her room to read on her own. And it's about a family who comes to a zoo. They basically like um, buy a zoo that's kind of run down and then they kind of bring it back to life. So it's just a fun, if you have an animal lover, um, this is a really fun series for them. Next series is the Fairy Unicorn series. Um, if your daughter is anything like mine, fairies, unicorns, and mermaids are her jam. That's what she likes to read about. That's what she enjoys drawing and coloring. And these really um, fulfill that for her. So I, again, read the first one when she was probably about five, and now she can read them on her own. Um, this is just a fun series. If your daughter likes fairy tales, definitely recommend this series. Even more loved was the Secret Mermaid series. The Secret Mermaid books were so much fun. I did read them all out loud to her because again, she was younger when we got them, but now she can read them herself and she loves them. So um, it's about a little girl who goes to the ocean and she, um, her grandmother gives her a magical necklace and at night, certain nights when she's needed, she gets um, transformed into a mermaid and taken to the underworld, not underworld, um, undersea kingdom. <laughs> the underworld's a little dark. Um, she gets taken to the undersea kingdom. And um, this was a really fun series. Every single book has its own problem to solve. Um, she has to go and save the day. And there's lots of pretty pictures and um, interesting graphics. Usborn is so good about making interesting graphics. Um, so definitely recommend these. I'm going to post a link to a party in the description so that if you are interested, I have a close friend who does Osborne. Definitely recommend all these books. You should check it out. I'm still going to share with you the her little favorites that come like from the bookshelf that she reads throughout the day and that she asks me to read throughout the day or that she reads to her siblings. My last recommendation for the big chapter books are the American Girl series. I read these when I was a little girl and so they have a special place in my heart. But my daughter now can read them and loves them and I love the story. I love the history that they incorporate into the stories. I got her a dress, a dress up dress, to go along with the books that we were reading and the fact that we were studying um, early American history. And I am a huge fan of making school fun and giving them things that make it interesting. So we get to have tea like Felicity does and we get to dress up like Felicity and I think that that's a way to help kids remember what they're learning, make it interesting. And when you find something interesting, you know, you remember it versus like a, a fact that nobody is going to care about. So I love having extra books that go along with whatever we're studying in our homeschool curriculum, because I think that it really um, reiterates what they're learning, gives them a person in their mind who they can visualize in that place and then in the case of my daughter where I got her a dress and some tea we're um, you know kind of living that experiment and then as we're studying the Boston Tea Party we can talk about the whole battle over tea which again she'll be able to remember because we've actually put a little bit more time into it and a little bit more effort into making it fun than just reading some dates to her okay guys sorry bunny trailed I got off on the whole like science or well, I got off on the whole science and the history because we do a lot of school books that are like fun and some of these books are books that are, we're doing for school and some we're just reading for fun and some I'm using as a, a added joy to our school books that we're doing. So these are my daughter's favorites in starting with number five, working our way to number one of the books that she loves to read out loud. Raccoon on the Moon. Another Usborne, but it's because there's lots of tales, so this is super loved, you can tell. We read it a lot, but she loves Raccoon on the Moon, lots of rhyming, so if you have little kids, this is such a good book for teaching how to read, learning how to read, learning how to rhyme. This is a really fun book. And if you think that kids that are in third grade or beyond shouldn't read books like this, think again. Um, actually, reading books like this makes reading so much more fun because they feel like, ooh, I got this, this is easy, this is fun, and it's good to read no matter what you're reading, really. It doesn't matter if it's super simple. Another one of her favorites is Baby Cakes. I think this is cute, but she reads it to her dolls, 
and it's a book that I had as a child and this actually got passed down to me from my mom um, and it's just a sweet baby story so if you have a little one like a little little one I definitely recommend this cardboard book it's so sweet and precious and clearly we had it in the time of babies because they left their mark on it you can see her other favorites is farm animals and other Usborne beginner books guys we have so many of these um, this isn't a school book it's just one of her favorite books to read about farm animals because um, my daughter likes uh, ducks and sheep and goats and all the animals you can think of um, that go on a farm so this is a really fun book and she said this was her other favorite green eggs and ham again I think this came in like first grade and it just ended up in the bookshelf because it's so fun and she loves to read it and she's laughing hysterically the whole time so if you haven't read Green Eggs and Ham, I definitely recommend it, and it's a fun book. Also, I mean, it's good for younger than third grade, but third graders love it too. And my very favorite, my very last book, and my favorite, and coincidentally, my daughter's favorite, is the It Could Have Been Worse story. And if you've never read this story, I definitely recommend. It's so much fun, it's so sweet. It's about a mouse who's traveling from the city, and on his way home, basically things keep happening to him, and um, each time he is saved from basically a fate worse than what happened and I like this book I like the moral of the story I think my daughter likes it because it's fun and cute and sweet and it's pretty easy to read but I like it for the moral of the story which and the graphics I mean they're just really pretty and they're fun so be sure to check out the link below if you're interested in any of the Usborne books and I'll link the other books I mentioned in the description just on Amazon so you can find them easily I love reading and um, if you have any questions about books or want some recommendations, be sure to ask because I'm happy to answer. I could talk books all day. So I will see you guys on the next video.